Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we can create the Outlook calendar events automatically using the Excel VBA. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this automation. Here we are capturing some data like subject of the event, then the location, start date, start time, end date, end time, and the mail body if you want to capture something there status will be captured automatically so i want to create let's say these five events in one click you can create them using the outlook one by one but if you want to create automatically from the excel you can create them so let me come to the my outlook calendar here you can see in this week i don't have any event here right now i will show you if we click it will be created automatically now here I have put some dates and the start time and end date, end time and the body. Now let me click on this. So let's click. So it is saying calendar events created successfully. And here we can see it is saying created. Now let me open the calendar and it is showing some reminders also. And these reminders are for you can see the subject, right? Team meeting, sales presentation and here we have the sale presentation and the team meeting so let me come to the calendar and then i will show you so here you can see we have created these successfully so automatically it will show the alerts okay now let me show you the vba code for this and how you can create this in your vba so let's go to the developer tab and the visual basic and we have created this module here now let me uh, show you with the excel file also so let's put the excel and the vb code together so that i can explain you in better way we have created this sub procedure first we are taking dim ws as worksheet then we are taking the set ws as this workbook calendar events which is this one okay calendar event now we are taking here some variables dim i as long last row as long and then we are taking some objects also for outlook of application and some other here we are taking some strings like uh, subject location body okay and start time and time also we are taking as date now first thing we are using the late binding here so that it can work in every with every version of the outlook okay so here i'm using the set olf equal to create object outlook dot application so it will create an instance of the outlook application make sure your outlook application should be open and if outlook app is nothing that means your outlook is not available in your excel so it will return this message all right and it will exit sub now here we are taking the last row of this seat so here we are using this code to get the last row so it will return the last row on the basis of column b okay now we are running a loop for six to last row so six our data is starting from here row number five is our header row number six is actually data till the last row whatever is the last row we will run a loop here first we are checking the column i so column i is the status column this one make sure this should be blank otherwise we will assume we have already created this event okay if this is blank then we will create the event so if this is blank then we will go to this one so we are taking here subject location and body and from column b column c column h column h body column b subject column c location okay start date start time we are using here the formula start date and start time that is start date time okay start date start time so we are using plus here also now set ol appointment so we are creating an item so we you we are using create item if we put here zero then we will create the mail but we are putting here one so we are creating here appointment item okay if you put here zero then we will create mail item but we don't want to create the mail item we want to create an appointment item now with ol appointment we are putting subject as whatever the variable of the subject and location body start date end date and reminder set we are putting here true so that it will show the reminder 
reminder minutes before start 15 and status we are putting here 2 2 for vg and then just put here dot save so it will save that event and here in the last we are putting column i dot value will be created that is this one status so we will put here created and just put here and if and next i so it will go to the next and now it will show the message calendar events created successfully now here what we have done we have put a conditional formatting so let me show you if i press alt o d so this is the conditional formatting if i put here created then it will just show this color okay so that means we have created successfully all right so that is how we have created and once uh, this sub procedure is created we have created this button simply taking the shape of rectangle like this and just drag that rectangle here and change the color as per your requirement or you can take any formatting from here also or you can take the save effect preset or any preset like this then you can just right click and edit the text like click to create events okay and let's align the center center and bold just right click Go to the assign macro and this is the macro which we have just seen and just say okay now if you click here it will create the event in your outlook all right friends so friends that is how we have created this outlook calendar event creator in the excel vba it is quite useful and ready to use you just need to put your events name here and the start date and time and just click on create events automatically it will create the event in your outlook calendar friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching